Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and here's what I bring to you all from the world of medicine. Immune response to COVID-19 strengthens over time, says study. Immunity from COVID-19 appears to gather strength with more time between vaccination and infection. A new lab study from researchers at Oregon Health and Science University suggests the findings carry implications for vaccine recommendations as the pandemic transitions to an endemic state. Researchers measured the antibody response in blood samples for a group of people who gained so called hybrid immunity through two means either vaccination followed by a breakthrough infection or by getting vaccinated after contracting COVID 19. They measured the immune response in blood samples of 96 generally healthy OSHU employees and found that the immune response was uniformly stronger the longer the time period between vaccination and infection. The longest interval measured was 404 days. Hope for patients with methyl malonic aciduria. University Children's Hospital Zurich is one of the leading global centers for diagnosing and treating methyl malonic aciduria or MMA, which is a metabolic disorder in which affected children in adolescence often use wheelchairs and do not always survive to reach adulthood. Patient samples from all over the world are sent to Zurich for diagnosis. In a large interdisciplinary project, scientists from various Swiss research institutions study 210 biopsies in detail. They examined not only all of the genes which is DNA in the patient cells but also the RNA transcripts of these genes and many of the proteins. Persistent mutations in tumors may predict immunotherapy response, finds study. Investigators at the John Hopkins Kimmel Cancer Center and its Bloomberg Kimmel Institute for Cancer Immunotherapy have found that a subset of mutations within the overall tumor mutation burden or TMB termed persistent mutations are less likely to be edited out as cancer evolves, rendering tumors continuously visible to the immune system and predisposing them to respond to immune therapy. This Persistent mutation load may help clinicians more accurately select patients for clinical trials of novel immunotherapies or predict a patient's clinical outcome with immune checkpoint blockade, which is a type of immunotherapy. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.